so sorry.
feels nice and soft. And I'm just going to use it to help get rid of some of that water that's left over. Not all of it because it'll keep you cool, but just some of it so you're not soaking wet.
seven things the Bible says about anxiety. And there's a fuzzy there. My favorite day in the seven day plan is day four. And I'm just going to read you the devotional because that's the one I really like. And it said, with his love, he will calm all your fears. Zephaniah 370. So it says, in the book of Romans, Paul says that the moment you confess Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you are adopted into God's family, and he becomes your father. God is no ordinary father. Your earthly father is human and sinful, which means that he has let you down in the past and will likely let you down in the future. God is perfect and good. He will never let you down. Zephaniah 317 describes your heavenly father as incredible love for you. He is with you. He delights in you. And he rejoices over you. Zephaniah says that God is also your protector and your comforter. With his love, he will calm all of your fears. Psalm 139 says that God has been with you since you first started growing in your mother's womb. And that he will be with you wherever you go. You are the masterpiece of his creation and he is your greatest supporter as you discover and live out all that he created you to be. Now this next one is my favorite part and then it's done but picture this. A child is lying in bed fast asleep while a thunderstorm is growing in intensity as the night goes on. A sudden crash of lightning and thunder startles the child from sleep. And after a cry for help, a loving father rushes in and wraps his arms around the child. Just like that parent, God is always available to you. In his love, he will calm all your fears. That's my favorite verse. Anytime I'm ever having any anxiety or stress, I just get comfort from that last paragraph. It may not work 